As all Overwatch players and fans are aware by now, everyone's favorite right-click simulator, the Jesse McCree character, is going to eventually start going by a new name, since the man he is named after was released from the development team amid a sexual harassment lawsuit involving a few other people as well. And the reaction is highly mixed and divisive. Some say it was the right move, others are just really offended that Blizzard would rename a beloved character even if they were named after a shitty person. Especially if it was for that reason. Unfortunately, sexual harassment is not taken too terribly seriously by an alarming number of people, but I digress. Regardless of how you feel about this change, it's going to happen whether we like it or not. And in addition, Blizzard is going to uh, release a new related game content as well, which is always welcome if you ask me. New game modes certainly do help uh, keep things fresh now, don't they? <laughs> it sure beats the hell out of releasing a lousy skin out of nowhere that we can only get by playing and winning a ton of the same old games over and over again, and usually the skins aren't even all that good anyway. I mean, who even uses that one Symmetra skin these days anymore anyway? Now, at present, it's not known what the new name is going to be, though there is some speculation among the portions of the fan base that aren't total crybabies. Apparently, it's been hinted at at some point that uh, Jesse McCree is not really his name to begin with. There's a pre-game interaction between him and Sombra in which she suggests that, yeah, it's not his real name. My name's not Joel. Best remember that. Now, this could be a name that he just picked out at random on the spot, or maybe it could have just been kind of a slip of the tongue. Kind of similar to how in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, John Marston starts calling himself Jim Milton to avoid any bad association that some people may have had with John Marston in the past. I mean, McCree is kind of an outlaw anyway, so it's certainly feasible. Failing that, Blizzard could take advantage of the fact that his aesthetic was largely inspired by a character named Logan McDonald from StarCraft, which coincidentally was another Blizzard title. So there's certainly some Blizzard vs. continuity there for longtime fans of the company who may welcome hearing that name again. It's also possible that they may want to go in the complete opposite direction and just go with something completely original. I've been looking at some suggestions, uh, mostly from Twitter, and they've been pretty illuminating. Here's a suggestion to take advantage of what McCree is most notorious for. Flashy McWright Click. Here's another one that plays on the old phrase, less is more, and just kinda is straight up and to the point. Shooty McShoot Face. Now, me personally, I say change his name to Fan Hammer. See, it's a mashup of his Fan the Hammer ability, which is every Overwatch player's favorite, and is a reference to 90s professional wrestler Van Hammer. The resemblance is uncanny. I mean, considering how huge wrestling has been becoming in recent years, I mean, it's never been this popular in a very long time, I feel like it only kind of makes sense to, you know, appeal to some of that audience and maybe draw some of them in as well. I see this as an absolute win. It can't possibly fail. Overwatch fans are absolutely going to love it. And I really don't see how anybody else can dispute this. Uh, no, I don't accept any alternatives or feedback. Your move, Blizzard. You're welcome.